Hello everyone, here I have a question on percentage. The question is, convert the following percentage to fraction and ratio. So they have given a full percentage, we have to convert them into both fraction and ratio. So it's very easy once you have converted this into a fraction, you can convert it directly to the ratios. Okay, so the first question. Now percentage means percent, cent means 100. So percentage when they have given, it means it is out of 100. So if they have given 25 percentage, means it is 25 is out of 100. That is 25 upon 100 is nothing but 25 percentages. So it's very simple, remember, whenever they are given a percentage symbol, okay, you have to remove the percentage symbol and then divide by 100. That's it. So this is equal to 25 divided by 100. I have removed the percentage sign and then dividing with 100. So that is how we can convert this into a fraction. Now 25 upon 100 is a fraction but it is not in the reduced form. Reduced form means you have to cancel. If the number can be cancelled, we can cancel it. You, can ca you should cancel it, bring it to the reduced form. Now I can cancel this in a 25 table directly. If you want, you can cancel this in the lower numbers like a 5 and you want to get the same answer. I'm doing directly here in 25 tables. So 25 ones are and then 25 fours are is 100. So this is equal to 1 by 4. This is a fraction. You know that uh, fractions can also written as in our ratios form, but they should be in lowest form. So 1 by 4 here is in lowest form. When you convert this into a, a ratio, it will be equal to 1 is to 4. That's it. Okay, you might have learned how to convert uh, from ratios to fraction. Similarly, fractions can be written in a ratios form, but this should be in reduced form. So we have reduced it, and the fraction is one by four. Ratio is one is to four. That's it. The next question. So we have two point five. So two point five percentage. So this is equal to. Uh, so here we have a decimal right so you have learned in lower classes that after decimal you have to just count number of digits we have only one digit so remove the decimal point and you divide by 10 so it depends upon how many digits are there after decimal point you have one digit so you'll get one zero that is 10 you will get it now we have percentage sign remove the percentage sign and then divide by 100 now if you see here we have already 10 in the division right uh, in we can divide, we can like in we can again divide this whole 25 upon 10 with 100. So don't want to make it more complex. What I'm going to do, I'm going to just show you a simple trick. Now since 10 is there already in the division and then again you have to divide by 100, you can again put 100 here in the division only. But the numbers in the denominator, that is we have 10 and 100, right, they get multiplied. You just put multiplication sign because both the numbers are there in division and they are together so they get multiplied so put multiplication sign there now so we have got 25 upon 10 uh, into 100 you can cancel this in a uh, 24 table directly 25 ones are 25 fours are right so this is equal to 1 by 40 this is a reduced form you cannot cancel this further so this is a fraction if you want to write down the ratio it will be 1 is to 40 that's it. Then the next question. We have 0 0.25 percentage, right? Same thing. After decimal, we have a two digits. So it will be 25 upon 100. Now, since I have to remove the percentage sign, the uh, we have to divide with 100. Now, already we have 100 in the denominator. I'm going to put uh, one more 100 in denominator, but these two numbers will get multiplied. Now we have 25 upon 100 multiplied by 100. Cancel this in uh, 25 table. 25 ones are 25 fours are. So this is equal to 1 upon 400. This is a reduced form. This is a fraction. If you want to write down in the ratio, it will be 1 is to 400. That's it. Then the next question. So we have done first three questions. The next question is fourth one. We have 0 0.3. 0 0.3 percentage so after decimal we have num one number so it will become uh, 3 upon 10 now we have to remove the percentage sign so 100 will divide with 100 so that 100 will get multiplied with 10 I'm doing directly I have explained you the previous two question how we are, why we are multiplying 100 here now we, we cannot cancel this further because the 3 will, will not go in 10 or 100 table or uh, with, uh, like we cannot cancel this with 3. So this, this will be 3 by 1000. This is a reduced form. We cannot cancel this further. If you are writing this in a, fra uh, in a ratio, it will be 3 is to 1000. Okay. Then the next question. That's the last one. We have 125 percentage. 
so 125 percentage so remove the percentage sign so 125 divided by 100 cancel this in 25 table directly so 25 5 is 125 and 25 4 is 100 so this is equal to 5 by 4 is a fraction in the ratio if you write down it will be 5 is to 4 that's it so they're very simple whenever they're asking you to convert uh, anything into a fraction or ratio and percentage is given remove the percentage sign divide by 100 and reduce it you'll get the answer now this is a question if you have any other question from this chapter or any other chapter you can drop a comment i'll try to make a video on it thank you so much for watching